Thank you very much. A celebration is in order for one Jaime Jaquez Jr. The beginning to his first NBA season celebrated uh, really for the last month and a half for all of Heat Nation. But the NBA got involved. We'll explain that in a moment. But first, let's check out the reason why. He just has great instincts for the ball. He's physical. He's earned the trust of the staff, but more importantly, he's earned the trust of his teammates. Hawkins shoots footwork. Got a turnaround. Got a splash. Look at the footwork. Oh, oh, boy. Come on now, Sam. Oh, oh, boy. Monday, the NBA announced that that man right there is the Kia NBA Eastern Conference Rookie of the Month for the games played in October and November. Why not? He helped Miami to 11 wins during that time, tying the fourth most by any rookie. He recorded 11 double-figure scoring games. Not too bad for the man who wears 11 on his chest and his back. Um, you know, it feels good. Uh, I give a lot of credit to, you know, my teammates and my coaching staff for allowing me to, you know, get an opportunity and giving me a lot of confidence to just go out there and play my game. Um, I think without that, you know, I wouldn't be in the position I'm in. You know, you win games, accolades, personal and all that stuff will come along with it. Um, and that's why I just focus on trying to win games and try to impact as much as I can. Well, I, I think it's it's uh, great that he's making improvement, um, that he's earning his minutes. These are not gifted minutes. Uh, you earn the trust of the staff and the players, your teammates, by making tough plays, being reliable, showing uh, a capacity and humility to learn. You know, he checks uh, all those boxes and hope, uh, hopefully that will continue, you know, for these next uh, 60 games of the season and playoffs. This marks the 10th time a Heat rookie has won the honor, the fifth player to do so because Karan Butler he did it four times. Kudos to Nunn and Beasley as well. Jay Rich, one of the cats to grab this award in their first season. We talked to Karan and Josh about the impact of having this designation. Um, when I won it, yeah, like you said, it, it just kind of validates, you know, all the work you put in, especially here. You know how we work um, every day, and Jaime's done a good job of just approaching it the right way, you know what I'm saying? And what, for me, it gave me a, a big confidence boost my rookie year, knowing that people were, you know, recognizing, you know, how hard I was working and, and the things I was giving to the team in the game. And, uh, you know, hopefully it, it launches him to another level. It's, it's definitely confirmation uh, that, you know, the league and the basketball world is taking notice of your talents and you're moving the needle in your process. It's crazy. It's interesting because this morning, grabbing coffee, had a chance to just have some dialogue with Jaime about that. And he was like, yeah, you got a few under your belt, huh? And I was like, yeah. He was like, I'm trending in the right direction then. And just his awareness of the history of the game and what it's all about to, you know, put on his uniform in these colors and what's expected of him, you know, going forward. I think he's just adapting extremely well. So just, he has no ceilings. The internal impact is obvious as it pertains to rookie league leaders this season. Hotkez, he's ranking. I mean, second in steals and steals per game, third in field goals made, fourth in points and assists, tied for fourth in wins, fifth in scoring average. You go on and on. It's top ten among that class, and that has to feel good. And as he noted, what feels best is not necessarily the accolade or the ranking, but the winner. And with that, we'll hit back to the studio. Good stuff as always, Jackson. Yeah, he's such a humble guy. I mean, it doesn't at all seem to get to his head. But, Amy, when you look at his production, Jax just referenced it a bit, is you stack him up against the rookies in the league and even the impactful ones that were high picks and all the hype, he's right up there with them. Yeah, and you know what? When you talk about honors, right, are you contributing? Are you impacting winning basketball? And Jaime Akis Jr. is contributing on a team that is above 500, right? And that's, that's had a rough go uh, with injuries and availability. Look at the numbers. They certainly don't lie. But to me, Will, it's it's the positions he put, he's been put in. Yep. Really. He's being asked to play alongside and around guys that are all NBA players, all-stars, and he's doing it. He's fitting in. And he's picking and choosing his time to make plays happen. He's played 171 fourth 
quarter minutes. Will, that's top five in the entire yep. NBA. Not just rookies. He's closing games for the Miami Heat at the 18th pick. It's absolutely incredible. Those are his season numbers, but in the last seven double digits in all games, he's averaged 18, five, three assists, and he's shooting 56% from the field. That's better than college. I understand it's a small sample size, but you're moving up to the NBA. Everything's bigger, faster, yep. stronger. He's producing. He's producing the transition he's made. It's just been phenomenal. By the way, this is your Toyota Inside Look brought to you by your local South Florida Toyota dealers. Those stats there for Jaime along with those other rookies. When we come back, more from Amy and this cord that I just grabbed uh, coming your way.